Let's discuss the recently unveiled J-36, a sixth-generation fighter developed by China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation. We'll provide a follow-up today with additional details and a conversation regarding the aircraft and, more generally, sixth-generation fighters. Take a look at this incredibly useful analysis by PLA watcher Jason to get started. He used the images at his disposal to identify the J-36 subsystems in some incredibly helpful ways. Jason claims that the aircraft seems to have an AESA radar, or side-facing, active electronically scanned array, on the chine. It looks like there are two pairs of apertures, one small and one large. The smaller array may be a data link for interacting with other assets, or these could be two distinct arrays with varying radar bandwidths. Fort Henry, whether the J-36 has a radar in the conventional spot, the nose of the aircraft, is unknown. Lossed apertures can be found on both sides of the chin of the J-36. This is probably a pair of infrared optical windows for infrared sensors, which are coated in materials that absorb radiation, which explains its gleam. Naturally, the purpose of the coating is to keep the J-36's stealth capability intact and prevent the window from impairing it. Jason continued by speculating that the infrared sensors might be very helpful and significant against aircraft with high performance, such as the B-21, the upcoming U.S. Air Force NGAD, and current fifth-generation fighters. The three engines' air intakes and their potential effects on the overall speed requirement were then covered, and the presence of pilots was promptly removed. First, like the F-22 CARET intakes, the ventral intakes of the two side-mount engines are located on the fuselage's bottom especially when discussing high-altitude cruising, where the air is thin and much easier to move quickly. This probably indicates a very high speed requirement for supercruising, exceeding Mach 2, or twice the speed of sound. Not all of the common diverterless supersonic inlet air intakes are effective at this speed, therefore the two side engines are most likely for high supersonic travel. The middle engine features a dorsal intake, which may be used for cruising at lower speeds, and is probably a more conventional diverterless supersonic inlet. As far as stealth capability goes, Jason argues that sixth generation fighters are better than fifth generation fighters, since they are supposed to stay stealthy in a greater variety of situations. All aspect broadband stealth is the goal of sixth generation combat aircraft, like the NGAD and the B-21. All aspects refer to the aircraft's ability to remain covert from all angles, including the front, the flanks, and the back. Broadband stealth refers to the ability of the fighter to stay undetected by radar systems with a variety of bandwidths, or at least those that are pertinent to military uses. These consist of lower frequency radars appropriate for longer range detection and higher frequency radars, such as the X-band radar, which are frequently used for fire control applications. In comparison to fifth generation fighters, which typically place more emphasis on frontal aspect stealth, and stealth against higher frequency, higher bandwidth radar systems, sixth generation fighters have all aspect broadband stealth. Jason's analysis is really beneficial in my opinion. A link to his analysis at the Sino Defense Forum is included in the video description. With no apologies, I will be sharing more of his observations on my channel in the future. My audience, which includes you, will find these things to be highly intriguing. Please click the like button if you enjoy my video thus far. Next, look at the schematic of an electronic circuit, aircraft model, or diagram from the 2022 Zhuhai Air Show. The shape of this model is obviously very similar to that of the J-36. This model was first made public during the 2022 Zhuhai Air Show, and PLA observers at the time were aware that it was connected in some manner to China's sixth-generation fighter program. The Zhuhai schematic did not, however, receive much attention because the 6th Gen program was not particularly well known at the time and there were hardly any in-depth rumors about it. However, it is pretty obvious that this is a J-36 model, especially since the Chengdu Corporation ought to have essentially finalized the fighter's general design. The emphasis on the electrical circuit draws attention to how much more electricity is used when flying a 6th generation aircraft instead of a fifth-generation one like the J-20. This will provide the power needed for the radar system. Other sensors, like the infrared optical sensor, the data link, and communication systems, the electronic warfare suite, the display system that combines all of the sensor data, 
and most likely the computational power needed by any onboard artificial intelligence that will advise the pilot on the best course of action based on the data at hand. Anyone trained in the classical beginner sensor school will benefit from knowing this. Any onboard weapon systems, electronic warfare systems, and even cyber warfare capabilities will also need power.